when I'm in linear mode and both beds are together. That's how I operate the mill. The mill is out one side, I do my work, um, and, and that's generally what I'm trying to accomplish. But there are cases where I want to set the bed in linear mode between two mounts. Say I'm doing a motor mount or a pump base, and I have uh, pads on either side of, of the, where I place the mill that I want at the same plane. So I can do my precision setup, all my alignment, set my ram to a position where I could machine on one side, pull the cutter out, travel over the bed, put the cutter back in, and now again machine on the other side without having to make any movements to my setup. And that's what gives me a precision setup, is that I don't move any components. As soon as I move a component, then I run the risk of getting something under it, getting a chip, getting a ding, or, or whatever, and throwing off my setup. So then I would have to go through my whole alignment process again, or a leveling process again. So as long as I can keep my components without moving them, and just travel the head from one side to the other, then I can ensure that I have a great, you know, a good setup. Now when I'm in linear mode, my idea or my purpose usually is that I separate the bed so that I can machine between the two beds. However, if I need to, and that's the beauty of these machines, they're so versatile, they can be set up in multiple ways. I can set the ram in such a position that I can machine between the beds, and then I can move the spindle to outside the beds and machine another surface outside. So, in other words, when I set my, ram, my bed distance from each other, as long as they're less than the length of my travel of my ram, I can go extend on outside of the beds or machine inside of the beds. So I can purposefully set the beds a little closer together so I have extra travel on either side of the outside and still be machining on the inside. Makes it a tremendously versatile machine. And of course, I can always flip the head over and machine above my whole amount of travel. Or I can invert the whole machine and then machine below that whole surface. So, really does open up a lot of possibilities for how I can mount the machine versus how I need to use the machine.